Bonjour et bienvenue. Let's practice your listening skills on the topic of weather in the past, present and future tenses. You can use this for comprehension, dictation or just for pronunciation practice. Uh, if you know anybody who would like to do this with you or would benefit from listening practice, then please share. On s'y met le temps. Now, first, how this works, otherwise it won't make any sense to you. So soon after this, it's the reading of the weather in the past, present and future tenses. You can listen and see the shape of the mouth, slow it all down, take time to understand or write for dictation or just copy the pronunciation. Now, the transcript is shown afterwards for your convenience, so don't peep yet. You can use this for a dictation too. Now, when it comes to learning a language, listening has fantastic results. And why? Well, because it requires a different part of your brain. Speak out loud to help you hear French more easily. Speaking it out loud helps you learn and in the future you recognise the words ready for your own conversations. Hi, I'm Christine Cam, founder of Simply French Online and creator of The Real French Method, making your learning rewarding, effective and adventurous learning. Always push the boundaries just a tiny little bit, one step at a time. Now, I always go that knowledge is just stuff until you apply it. So we need to get applying. Now, don't look at the transcription. On écoute, ne regardez pas la transcription. Section 1 Aujourd'hui, jeudi le 24, il fait très chaud. La température atteindra 37 degrés dans l'après-midi. Le soleil sera présent toute la journée. Attention à l'exposition aux rayons UV. La crème solaire est indispensable si vous sortez. Cependant, pendant la nuit, il y aura des rafales de vent atteignant jusqu'à 100 km à l'heure. So now we can go to the next slide and see what you've written or if you've been pronouncing right. And now I'm going to read it really slowly to help you pronounce as well. Aujourd'hui, jeudi le 24, il fait très chaud. La température atteindra 37 degrés dans l'après-midi. Le soleil sera présent toute la journée. Attention à l'exposition aux rayons UV. La crème solaire est indispensable si vous sortez. Cependant, pendant la nuit, il y aura des rafales de vent atteignant jusqu'à 100 km à l'heure. Now we're going to go on to the next section, section 2. Don't forget, if you wanted to go back to anything, just rewind. On écoute, ne regardez pas la transcription. Ce matin, la pluie tombera de manière continue. Attention aux inondations en plaine et dans les vallées. Demain, il pleuvra à nouveau pendant toute la journée. Le soir, on prévoit de la grêle sur toute la région. Attention, car les grelons pourraient bien atteindre un diamètre de plus de 10 cm. And now you can look at the main one. Go ahead. Now I'm going to read it slowly for those of you who want to use this for pronunciation. If you've got what you want, you can skip to the next bit. Section 2 Ce matin... La pluie tombera de manière continue. Attention aux inondations en plaine et dans les vallées. Demain, il pleuvra à nouveau pendant toute la journée. Le soir, on prévoit de la grêle sur toute la région. Attention, car les grelons pourraient bien atteindre un diamètre de plus de 10 cm. And if you're ready now, you can either rewind and practice listening and just understanding, try just listening and not looking at anything, or just reading along as you wish. We're now going to section 3. Section 3. La journée d'hier 
a été marqué par le grand bleu sur l'ensemble de la France. Le soir, les nuages ont recouvert le ciel et la neige est tombée en abondance. La température est descendue vers moins 10. On vous recommande de protéger vos plantes fragiles ce soir. There you go. It's up to you if you go back or you move on right now depending on which activity you're wanting to do. And here's the transcript for you. So, section 3. Here's your read along moment. I'm reading slowly to give you a chance to read along with me, but before we do, what I'm trying to do to sound more French, being English, and this is important for English people or American people wanting to get a more French sound. Firstly, don't worry if you don't produce the perfect sound. It's about your journey. So the fact that you're doing this means you're getting there. Secondly, if you bring the tip of your tongue down a little bit, you'll find it's easier for the airflow to come through, which is much more French, whereas our way of speaking is much more further back in the mouth. It helps you speak forward and also bring your lips forward a little bit. Uh, very much like when you hear the French people going, uh, very much forward lips. So here we go. We'll try with that with the air and the lips. Section 3. La journée d'hier a été marquée par le grand bleu sur l'ensemble de la France. Le soir, les nuages ont recouvert le ciel et la neige est tombée en abondance. La température est descendue vers moins 10. On vous recommande de protéger vos plantes fragiles ce soir. And there you have it. It's up to you which way you go. I always promote that it's good to learn something, make your learning real. So if you're practicing this, practice these sounds one at a time, one sentence or one thing that you find hard during your week, during your day. Make it rewarding by practicing that in a conversation. Listen to yourself. Make it so that you feel rewarded with a good sound. It doesn't matter how many times it takes for you to get there. Just feel good and don't move on until you feel good. You can do this. You have to speak it. You have to. And also I say apply it and change it in different situations so that it helps you with spontaneous conversations. And speak it so that you hear it. It taps into your listening skills. So when other people are pronouncing their French or speaking French and it's faster than normal, you've got a much better chance of understanding it because the liaisons, the intonations, all that way of speaking French sounds familiar. You're not lost in the conversation. You're used to it. And you're used to it because you've been saying it a lot. But say it out loud, not in your head. And then living it is going out and practicing it. Absolutely essential activity, that is. Live it. If that's the kind of activity you enjoy, we are constantly learning, progressing and improving our journeys together in small live groups. We have groups from Australia, in Europe, um, in the West Coast, on the West Coast of America, on the East Coast of America, uh, in France here, in England. People are coming from all over the world in small groups here to practice their French and have French native feedback and teacher feedback. Someone who gets where you're coming from and who knows how to get you up to the next bit in small groups. That is priceless. So if you want to join us, go to simplyfrenchonline.com forward slash cafe. Merci beaucoup et à la prochaine.